Welcome back to Madden 24 franchise here on the channel. And we are in the home stretch of the season here. It is going to be weak as my phone goes off. Hey, week 16, taking on the Cardinals. They're four and 10. We're 10 and four. Take a look here at the NFC North standings. 10 and four, Packers nine and five. So have to stay ahead of them. Uh, cannot be taking losses here these final three weeks of the season. They have a pretty weak schedule themselves. So Roshan Johnson doing some of this training. I've kind of haven't been showing this as much lately simply because, um, you know, I've been trying to get those dev trade upgrades that are rumored to be a part of this. And um, yeah, still not getting any. Um, and so we have a defensive tackle one. Uh, I forgot what this one's called. Trying to get gold here. And we do get gold trench battle. Okay, we get gold on trench battle. We've gotten this gold a few times now. Are we going to get a dev trade upgrade on here as well? Can we get one for our rookie defensive tackle? And the answer on that is going to be no. We're not going to get a dev trade upgrade. Uh, 750 there. XP is nice. So we come here, Tariq Stevenson. We do pretty good here on DB battle. Get gold on that as well. So, okay. Got three golds. Maybe one of these will randomize us and uh, maybe we'll get that dev trade upgrade. Uh, I've been doing these getting gold for weeks now. Uh, you know, sometimes silver, but mostly gold. Um, no dev trade upgrade here, just 750 XP. Not even like a random skill point. I would like to see if we could get random skill points thrown in there. So uh, we get one, we do our training, we get one uh, upgrade for Michael Ojemuda. And that's a pretty good upgrade here. Plus two man, plus one zone, awareness and acceleration. Those, that's a pretty decent enough upgrade, I think, for him. Uh, might be an upcoming free agent, not 100% sure, but no one on this defense is uh, particularly playing great, honestly. I was maybe like Tyreek Stevenson at times. So Roshan Johnson is going to, we're going to change that number to 23. That's his number that he is actually wearing uh, in real life. He had a really great run against the Packers week one, um, recording this on Saturday. So here we go. Going to take on the Cardinals. In this upcoming episode, they're four and ten. We're ten and four. We gotta get this dub. The Cardinals travel all the way up to the windy city. It is frigid. It is cold. But the Cardinals looking to maybe play a little bit of playoff spoiler a little bit here late in the season. They're not playing for much outside of draft position. And if you're Kyler Murray, you don't really care about draft position because you don't want them drafting or maybe a potential quarterback to replace you. Justin Fields. Final talk of replacing him. He's had a pretty fine season here. Third and six. Fields looking. Throws. Going to find Darnell Mooney over the middle of the field. Keeping the eyes downfield. If nothing, hey, that wide open little route there in the middle of the field. Got to take it. Third and 11 now. Fields looking. Going to get hit as he throws the football. Looks like he maybe. Looks like DJ Moore possibly. Someone downfield had a step on their man. Fields doesn't get time to complete the pass so out comes kyler murray murray having a pretty solid season what really 16 touchdowns to 19 interceptions really turning that football over so murray gonna hand off to ezekiel elliott and ezekiel elliott gonna pick up the first down run on runs over a guy because the guy who does the ratings for madden still thinks ezekiel elliott is a productive nfl player third and 11 here for murray looks throws this one that's gonna be short of the first down try to getting a little Wide receiver screen going there. Didn't get the blocks that he needed for that. So first and 10. Handoff here to Roshan Johnson. Number 23. That number has some history in Chicago. And Roshan Johnson with a nice run right there. Now second and 10. Going to come back. A little bit of a screen play here. Throws this one. Johnson doesn't really get the blocks that you like to see on a screen play. I'm not sure what those guys are doing up front. Not blocking. Third and four coming up now. Fields looks. Throws. Going to find Cole Komet. Zayvon Collins came in with the hit. Komet just sort of took it in stride. Picked up a few more yards. So here comes Justin Fields. Play action look now. Fields looking. Just going to check this one down to Robert Tunyon. That's a good play right there. Second and three coming up after that. So here comes Fields. Second and three. Hand off here. Roshan Johnson. Johnson going to pick up the first down. I had one man to beat. That could have been a lot bigger if Zayvon Collins didn't make a play. So now Fields going to find Cole Komet right here on second and 10, pick up the first down. So this is a really good drive right now for the Bears. Really balanced, running the football, 
passing the football. Here comes Roshan Johnson, runs over the DB, stiffs arm a linebacker, and that's a touchdown right there. Roshan Johnson into the end zone, proving his worth right there. And, you know, I'm not saying you have to start maybe conversations next season about Khalil Herbert, but remember, Herbert is a free agent after next season. If you feel good about what you got here with Roshan Johnson, you know, do you maybe put, you know, Khalil Herbert on the trade market? Who knows? So third and four here. Kyler Murray trying to find his man right there. That's knocked down by Tariq Stevenson. Nice play right there from Stevenson to end that drive. So here comes Roshan Johnson, finds a hole up the middle, picks up the first down. Just really good vision by him. Here comes Fields again, looks over the middle, going to find Julio Jones. Julio Jones going to get brought down at the 36. So the Bears moving the football pretty good here in this first half. Now a handoff here, Roshan Johnson. Johnson gets the edge. Not the quickest guy, but he does have good acceleration. Picking up the first down right there. Already up to 68 yards. Here comes Johnson again. Going to get some good blocks right there. Runs through one guy, but then two other guys came and helped him. Not going to run through three. So second and one. Here comes Deonta Foreman picking up the first down right there. So some nice, uh, I don't want to say thunder and lightning necessarily, but here's Justin Fields. This definitely is a bit of thunder and lightning. Justin Fields is electric with the feet, and he picks up the rushing touchdown. They have not been running a lot of sort of read options with Fields this season since he got injured. And he has been staying in the side of the pocket a little bit more, but he can still make things like that happen. Here's Kyler Murray. Look at that throw right there. That's why, you know, if you're the Cardinals, you're not too worried about those interceptions. Coming back from injury, you maybe expect him to be a little bit rusty, but that looked really good right there. Here is another nice play right here to Ezekiel Elliott on the move. Really nice stuff here from Kyler Murray as maybe starting to get it going a little bit here at the end of this first half middle part of the first half in the second quarter. Going to find Marquise Brown right there. So now third and ten. Kyler looking, and he's going to get sacked right there. It's Gibson bringing him down. It's been a really down season for these Chicago edge rushers, so you like seeing them get some sacks. I mean, they just have not been able to get a lot of pressure. So second and 14. What do we got here? That's an interception. Zayvon Collins picks it off. Zayvon Collins. Not sure what happened on that one. I think, he, I'm honestly, I think it's just a great play by Zayvon Collins. Second and 12, Kyler Murray. That's a really good throw right there. Noticed yet, you know, Kyler saw that he had a really good receiver on a linebacker. That's not going to work too good, but Kyler didn't see Jalen Johnson right there. I think the orange might have confused him right on the Chicago uh, word mark there in the end zone. I think orange kind of confused Kyler a little bit right there. Jalen Johnson picks that one off, and that is just a poor decision from Kyler Murray. As I'm trying to make excuses for him, but now he's right on the O right there in, in, the, in the orange on orange, so maybe that kind of messed him up. I don't know. But here comes Justin Fields. Going to find DJ Moore. Deep shot here. DJ Moore. They couldn't tackle him, and that's going to cost him six. DJ Moore with the touchdown right there. DJ Moore touchdown. That's a big play right there. They've been hooking up on that all season long. And, you know, press DJ Moore at your own peril because more often than not, this Chicago team is going to find them. So 21-3 to here. They got to get something going here. What a throw right there from Kyler Murray anticipating the break in the route. So second and seven. Murray looks, throws. Going to find uh, uh, the back of, I believe that's Zach Ertz. That should have been a first down. Third and seven. Kyler Murray says, I'll get it on the next play. That's a big hit right there to that small receiver, but he's able to hold on to the football. Second quarter still winding down. First and 10. Murray going to take off here. Gets hit. If you're the Cardinals, you definitely worry about seeing him take those hits. So second and three. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. And oh boy, Eddie Jackson maybe should have let him stand up a bit there because he could have let that time run out. Instead, the Cardinals, they're able to get a field goal off here. That gives them six points. They're still trailing, though, 21-6 here at the end of the first half. So, But they get the ball to start. Murray is going to find a wide open. Just a wide open receiver right there. I'm not sure what's going on with this defense. I mean, they, they got to be better than this. Second and five. Kyler Murray just going to find holes in the zone. And basically what every quarterback has been doing for the most part of this season. Just 
At times, this defense can play well, and then other times, I'm not really like that. I mean, what is Jaquan Brisker doing right there? That's a clear throw to Zach Ertz. Instead, he tries to go run at the play-action fake after he saw the ball. I mean, I don't get it. Second and goal here. Handoff here to a fullback. Let's see what the name is. Let's try to say this uh, together. Cullen Gilles Gillespie? Gillespie? I hope I said that right. I don't care if I didn't. Either way, here's Darnell Mooney on a third and five, picking up the first down underneath right there. Nice play by Fields to extend the play. So the goal screen play here. Roshan Johnson follows the blocks. He almost gets the first down. There's a flag on the play. Now, this is interesting. It's a hold. Now, you think maybe you just, you know, would accept the holding call, but instead it's fourth and short. Well, the Cardinals decided to decline it. The Bears, they decided to go for it with Roshan Johnson. He's able to pick up the inches right there. Maybe should have made him redo the third down, backed up a little bit more. Instead, they pick up the first down. They extend the drive. Third and two coming up now. Can the Cardinals get this Bears offense off the field? Third and short here. Third and two. Roshan Johnson gets the blocks he needs. Picks up the first down. Extends the drive. So here comes Fields. Looking. Throws this one. DJ Moore comes down with it. This time they tackle him. But he's down at the five. And the Cardinals are probably kicking themselves for not making them redo that third down. Fields on the run. Going to throw this one. Julio Jones trying to get Julio Jones a touchdown as a Bear. And that one's going to be incomplete. So out would come the field goal unit. That will make it 24 to 13. This is still the game here as the third quarter starts to wind down. I'm not sure what happened here. Kyler Gordon, I, I don't know what he's doing, but he just lets the receiver run right by him. So here comes Kyler Murray again. Kyler Gordon just uh, playing off. I'm not sure what he's doing right there. Yeah, tough series here for Kyler Gordon but here comes Kyler Murray Jaquan Brisker decides to overrun the route for Zach Ertz uh, and there's and that's a touchdown so the Cardinals they decide to go for it 19 points here that'll make it 21 points and they just need a field goal to tie this one up well what are the Bears gonna do well Justin Fields he's gonna find DJ Moore here on the deep route here not sure what happened you cannot press DJ Moore like that touchdown Bears you better have some help over the top if you're going to press DJ Moore like that and play man-to-man -man coverage. you got to have help over the top for this guy. And the Cardinals are finding out the hard way. I mean, just I, I, I would say when DJ Moore is out there, it's best not to maybe play single high coverage because he's going to do that to you. So the Cardinals, they get the ball back. Third and seven. What does Murray got? Looking, looking, looking. Looking, decides to take off here, and it's going to be a sack by Jack Sanborn. That might be his first of the season. Sanborn starting to get on the field a little bit more as we get later into the season, making his worth here. Fourth and nine. Murray going to take a shot here, and that one is going to be broken up by Kyler Gordon, redeeming himself a little bit. Third and 14 coming up here as the Bears take over. Fields on the run, throws this one, and that's just an amazing play The Cole Komet. Down at the three. First down. That's a throw that, uh, you know, more often than not, maybe gets picked off. But Justin Fields has the combination of strength there to find it. And here is a touchdown to Darnell Mooney. And that is your dagger for sure. Extending this lead. I think that's a little too far in front for this uh, Cardinals team. 38-21. So here comes Kyler Murray. He's going to run with this football. Open field in front of him. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another tackle. Gets spun around. Fumbles the football. I believe he was on top of his receiver when he fumbled. So it is a fumble. Looks like he hit the ground, but he was actually on top of the receiver and then fumbled the football. Cardinals would eventually get the football back here. Murray looking. Not much time left. Just throws this one, and that is going to be an interception. Jalen Jones with the pick. Trying to house it here, and he can't house it. Kyler Murray with the tackle. Touchdown saving tackle. It doesn't matter, though. This one is over. Jalen Jones with a great play right there. Making a play on the football. Not sure what that one line, uh, lineman's doing. He's just kind of frozen in place, blocking. Either way, it is cold out here in Chicago this late in the year. The Bears pick up their 11th win of the season. They improved 11-4. Cardinals fall to 4-11. Justin Fields, 
17 of 27, 321 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, had six rushing yards on that one touchdown he had. Roshan Johnson, 27 carries, 118 yards, one rushing touchdown, and DJ Moore only had three receptions in this game, but they were all massive. 179 yards and two receiving touchdowns. Then Kyler Murray, 24-32, 274 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, and a fumble. Zach Ertz, six receptions, 78 yards, one receiving touchdown. And then the fullback, uh, Galispia. Galispia with two yards and one rushing touchdown as the Cardinals drop this one to the Bears, 38-21. So that was a pretty good victory. Again, kind of just what I thought we were able to do. Still gave up a lot of yards, honestly. So like I said before, yes, we're winning games, but, you know, it's... Our offense has to have really big plays, uh, or it's going to be kind of ugly, I think, just because of our defense is just not very good. But we get some upgrades here for uh, Justin Fields. Plus two, throwing the run. Throwing to pressure goes up one. Throw accuracy deep goes up one, and break sack goes up one. So those are some pretty good uh, upgrades for him for Improviser. Um, probably going to start focusing more on Improviser and probably Field General for him. So looking at some of these abilities we got, and... You know, nothing too crazy, I don't think. So we're just going with a quick draw here. Uh, pass versus Billy have faster passing animations than they are throwing under pressure. We get under pressure thrown a lot, so maybe that'll help. So 11 and 4 at this point in the season, and we are going to take on the 11 and 4 Atlanta Falcons. And this is a pretty big game because, you know, take a look here at these standings in the NFC. We've clinched a playoff spot. But a lot of seeding is still up for grabs. So you see the X there by our name, the X by the Falcons name. And both 11 and 4, you see the Panthers there at 10 and 5, the Packers at 10 and 5, uh, the Saints at 9 and 6. I mean, you know, this, honestly, the race for the number one seed isn't decided yet. I mean, some, there's, there's a, I'm not sure about their schedules exactly, but there's like some weird way where the Saints, even sitting there at 9 and 6 right now, could end up being the one seed. Uh, we can end up being the six or seven seed, really. The Packers can end up still being the one seed. Uh, so can the Panthers. But the Packers sitting there at 10 and 5. They started off really slow, but they have gotten hot down the stretch here. They've kept up with us. You know, for most of the season, we were well ahead of them in the NFC North. But, you know, this is a, it's not even a collapse. It's just the Packers have gone on fire. They've gone on a, some pretty big streaks so far this season. And uh, as we sit there at 11 and four, see the points against. We are probably get we are we are probably the worst defense in the NFL. I believe last year, in 2022, the Bears gave up the most points in the NFL. I think we're well on way to actually giving up the most points in back-to-back -back years. Uh, we might honestly break a record for points uh, allowed. Uh, that's how bad this defense has been. So it's not like I've been blowing everyone out, you know, 50 to zero. I mean, we've been giving up points. We've been giving up yards. So right now we're the two seed. <clears throat> We'd be taking on the seven seed Saints. If the playoffs were to start today, you see the Packers down there at the five. You see the Panthers at the six. But the Bears, the Panthers, and the Packers are all so close record-wise, even the Falcons as well. Any one of us can end up being the six seed. Any one of us can end up being sort of the five seed going on the road in the playoffs and you don't want to do that so got to get this win against you know the 11 and 4 falcons and they have a pretty good team so i'm gonna be interested to see how we fare in that game so i want to thank you guys for watching this if you want to see that video and you want to see all the other videos be sure to hit like be sure to hit subscribe there's a playlist I'm, i might have that in the description and uh yeah keep up with bears franchise so i want to thank you all for watching this one and i'll see you guys in the next one peace